What is it like to travel around Switzerland during June? Is it really true that it's the best season to travel? Find out by watching this video to the end. Hello everyone, my name is Jemo and I'm a Switzerland travel expert. We're going through various categories and I'm sure by the end of this video you will have your answer. Now let's start with the first thing and that would be that in June it's getting summer again. Take a look, everything is green, you can hear the insects, it's warm, summer is calling. Now, June is a rather warm month, but if you like to have it warm but not hot, then June is definitely great because July and August, these months are usually going to be very hot. Now, in beginning, the temperatures in June are going to be around 22 to 26, and then towards the end of the month, between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. In June, the days are also going to be very long. In fact, the longest day happens on June 21st. Sun is going to set around 9.30 p.m really great, right? Overall, June is a rather sunny month, so you may enjoy a lot of days with great weather, but then it's always important to have a plan B, especially if it's going to rain. Here I suggest indoor activities. You can go to caves. There are also places like the underground lake, museum, really great things that you can do instead. Now, what's also important for you to know, in June, yes, you'll have great weather, but up in the Alps, especially in Zermatt, although the weather is going to be good, it's also going to be quite humid and then the clouds are usually going to concentrate around the very high peaks like the Matterhorn and that actually may ruin your vista. In that case, really go out early in the morning, then you may still see the Matterhorn, but then towards noon it's already going to be covered in clouds. Sometimes that already happens even at 9 in the morning. Regarding the number of tourists, June is a great month because it's not school holidays yet, so that means Switzerland is not going to be really busy. Very touristy places like Zermatt, bern Roberland, Luzerne, these places will usually have only little visitors, so here you may enjoy these spots with serenity. Towards the end of the month, the school holidays are going to start and then you will have a lot of tourists that are coming to Switzerland. Now, here, places like Zermatt, Lucerne, Interlaken or even Gruyere, Ticino, these are usually going to be really packed with tourists and if you really prefer to have it serene then June is definitely much better for you to travel. Moreover, June is also great should you like to travel on a budget. It can save a lot of costs because the hotels are not going to be that expensive and sometimes even the attractions may be cheaper. In July it's going to be different, that's going to be peak season together with August and the prices are going to raise by around 50%. And then usually I'm going to hear this phrase, oh, Switzerland's so expensive, I cannot afford it. Why is Switzerland so expensive? Well, this is probably because you're traveling in peak season. And then after all, the people also have to earn some money, right? So, June is really great should you want to travel on a budget. Regarding hiking, pretty much all of the hiking trails are going to be open in June. Hiking is actually already possible in May, but then majority of the trails are going to open up in June. There are a few trails, those that are really higher up on 2500 meters and above. There is still going to be some snow and then these hiking trails may only open up in end June to early July. But overall, in June, you really have a great selection of hiking trails that you can take. And that's already the beginning of the best part of the hiking season. And that's going to last until September, mid-October. Let's talk about food. June is a great month to travel because there's a lot of seasonal stuff that you can try out. The season for rhubarb and asparagus is about to end, but in early June, you still may enjoy desserts that contain rhubarb, for example, cakes or then mousse. And then, for example, in the town of Flach, over there, you may enjoy fine white asparagus. So every year I go with my family to this restaurant called Obermühle. It's like a tradition. Over there you can get finest white asparagus. I would say probably the best white asparagus you could get in all of Switzerland. June is the peak season for berries, so you may enjoy strawberries, cherries and raspberries. There are so many desserts that you can try out that contain any of these. In June, it's also gelato season. So there is this town called Rüdlingen, which is, by the way, just located next to Flach. It's one of the most beautiful villages here in Switzerland. And over there, there's this gelateria called Paul Angelo. They serve homemade Italian gelato. 
and I would say that's probably the best Italian gelato that you could try here in Switzerland. Not kidding. If you're taking a look, everything is already very green. So in June, the sprouting and blossoms are definitely going to be over. Even if April should be cold and not too sunny, then the sprouting and blossoms are going to happen in May so that everything is going to be very green already in June. Now up in the Alps, it's a little bit different. Summer is a bit shorter because it's colder. So usually in June, that means it's mid spring to end spring and you may still see some of the blossoms over there. In general, up in the Alps, summer is quite shorter. It only starts in July and it's going to end in early September. When it comes to snow, I do have to say, June is not really a great month to travel. Down here in the Swiss plateau, there's definitely going to be no more snow. But up in the Alps, above 2,000 to 2,500 meters, you still may see some snow. And then definitely on 3,000 to 3,500 meters, there's still going to be a lot of snow left. Now, skiing isn't really great in June because most of the skiing resorts already will have closed. They are on a season break. They're only going to open up in early November. Although skiing is not possible almost everywhere, there are a few resorts like in Zermatt and South Fe. Over there you can go for summer skiing. And I think that's something pretty exciting. So consider trying that out. Regarding the glaciers, which is really great, most of the snow will be gone. Thus, these glaciers, they're going to be exposed. And I think the impression just looks a lot more beautiful during summer than in winter. So this is something very great. Then regarding the hotels, definitely down here in the Swiss plateau, most of them are going to be open. So here you may benefit from a large selection. Then up in the Alps, it depends. Not all of the hotels are going to be open, but surely more than during May. So it's going to be easy to book because not many people will be around. And even wellness hotels that usually fully booked during peak season, you may actually go there and even benefit from lower prices. The pass roads, these are one of my favorite attractions here in Switzerland. They're going to take you through some of the most beautiful landscape of this country. And what's really great, most of them are going to open up already during May. And then the very last ones, they will open up in very early June. These roads would usually be the Forca Pass, Susten, Grimsel, Nufenen and Gotthard Pass. Very beautiful pass roads, definitely go and try them out, they are very enjoyable. What's really cool about the pass roads is serve as a shortcut, so they take you from one valley to the other one, so you're driving up and then again down, and you may enjoy really great views. What's really advantageous about the pass roads, especially when you're driving by car, you don't have to pay any entrance fee and can stop anywhere and enjoy all of these fantastic views. Now some of the pass roads, they also have attractions. For example, the Forca Pass you may stop at the Belvedere. That's by the way, a James Bond filming location. They are producing the movie Goldfinger over there. And then just next to it, there is the Rome Glacier. You may go inside the man-made ice cave, which is very enjoyable. It costs nine Swiss francs. And that's actually just perfect for you as a budget traveler. What's well, really important for you to know, in June the pass roads are going to be in particular busy during weekends, especially if it's sunny, and then there's going to be a lot of motorcycles. As all of the pass roads are going to be open in June, pretty much the same is the case for the attractions. You can do a lot of things, you can go swimming, you can go for adventure parks, you can visit a gorge, zip lining. so many great things that you can do here in June. Now, almost everything is open, but not all of the attractions are going to be open. So some of them, they will only open up in late June. These would, for example, be the Ice Pavilion and Metro Alpine in South Fame. Then the steam railway train over the Forca Pass. It opens up in end June. Fantastic attraction if you're a history lover. It's definitely going to be a great experience. And then, for example, also the Barrage des Moussons. This one opens in end June, early July. Over there you have a great vista over Mont Blanc and then there's also this panoramic train. Really great. Swimming is also great in June, although in early June the rivers and lakes may still be too cold, but then towards mid-June the rivers are going to be warm enough, around 17 to 19 degrees, you can go for swimming. And here I really recommend the River Rhine, that's where I go swimming every year, it's just great. Now the lakes, they usually will warm up a bit later because they're usually fed with cold water from the Alps. 
so they may be usually warm enough towards end of June. Also really great for swimming. Now popular spots like the Verzaska Valley or Valle Maggia. Really nice to swim there, but I do have to say the water may be still very cold in June, not even 12 degrees, unless if it's really warm throughout the entire month, then the water may be between 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. But here you see, it's not going to be very warm. So all in all, you can see June is a really great month to travel. You can do so many things. Most of the attractions are open. All of the pass roads are open. It's sunny, the days are long, it's warm. You may go swimming. Great things. You can still see some snow even. You can do hiking. What more? And because of that, I would say June is one of the best times to travel here in Switzerland. Now, if you want to travel to Switzerland, but you don't know what to do, you may want to check out this video. And there I'm talking about all the kind of activities that you can do. So I'll see you on that video.